In this video, we'll be looking at the preload setup and the sag of the Baja board. By preload, we mean the amount of pre-compression you put on the shock absorber springs. The level of pre-compression can be adjusted using this spring cap at the top of each shock absorber. You can increase the pre-compression by screwing down the spring cap in a clockwise manner. You're basically increasing the stiffness of that spring. To reduce the amount of pre-compression, simply unscrew the spring cap in an anti-clockwise manner. Of course, you don't want to unscrew the spring cap too much, as once you're past the natural length of the spring, the spring is no longer held in place and will start to rattle. If you see or hear the spring rattle, you need to increase the pre-compression. The sag refers to the distance that a shock absorber spring compresses by when you're standing on the board. To put it another way, it's the distance that the board drops by once you get on it. In the ideal scenario, you want to set up the preload of the shock absorbers so that when you're on the board, the drive shafts are roughly horizontal. The reason is that the drivetrain will operate the most efficiently when the drive shafts are horizontal. If you decrease the preload too much, then the springs can be too soft and the ball will sag more, causing the drive shafts to dip in a V-shape. If you increase the preload too much, the shock absorber springs might become too stiff and so the ball doesn't sag enough, causing the drive shafts to be angled up slightly. The stock Baja ball springs are suitable for riders between the weight ranges of 70 to 100 kilograms. If you are outside that weight range, it's highly recommended that you contact us to discuss getting some custom springs made to allow you to achieve the best preload and sag setup.